Cookies for Santa. Pictures by Johanna Tarkella. It's the week before Christmas. Everyone at the North Pole is getting ready for the big day. Everyone except Santa. Today's the day Santa makes gifts to give to his Christmas family. Mrs. Claus, the reindeer, and all the elves in his workshop. He wants to show them how much he cares. Every year Santa bakes dozens of his family's favorite cookies to give to everyone as a gift. They are deep dark chocolate cookies with a snow white exterior. Crinkle cookies. When Santa was little his father made these cookies and when his father was little his father made these cookies too. It's a family tradition. It's time to gather the ingredients. The secret recipe is kept in the old Kringle family cookbook. But Santa can't find the book anywhere. If Santa can't find the cookbook, he won't have the recipe. Then he can't make the cookies. If he can't make the cookies, everyone will be disappointed. Meanwhile, in Boston, Abigail and William are enjoying winter vacation. Every year they go holiday shopping with their mom. There is a lot of shopping to do. Can we please go to the library, asked Abigail. Just for a few minutes, says their mom. We aren't finished shopping. In the library, William heads straight to the picture books, while Abigail wanders over to her favorite corner, the cookbook section. She loves to look at pictures of beautiful pastries, towering cakes, and colorful cookies. Today she notices a book she's never seen before. It's old, dusty, and brown. She decides to check it out and bring it home. At home, Abigail opens the well-worn book. Look at this, she says. Here's a recipe for snow pudding and one for something called sleigh pie. You always want the boring books, William said disappointed. Mom, can we make something? Abigail asked. Maybe this one? Her mom looks at the recipe. I don't think this is a real cookbook, Abby. Elf and chocolate? A bowl carved from a Christmas tree? Please, Abigail begs. It's just make-believe. Come on, dinner's ready. Back in the North Pole, Santa is worried. I can't find my family recipe. What am I going to give to everyone, he sighs. The elves, the reindeer, Mrs. Claus, they will think I don't care. Santa tries to make the recipe from memory. In the kitchen he adds a little of this and a little of that and mixes them together in a bowl. Do I use elfin chocolate or the bark of a Christmas tree or essence of an ornament? Santa puts his concoction onto a baking sheet and into the snow oven. He closes his eyes and crosses his fingers for luck. Santa carefully pulls the cookies out of the oven. They don't look right and they smell terrible. He takes a bite anyway. Yuck! Santa sighs. Santa, where are you? Santa hears Mrs. Claus calling him from the living room. Santa doesn't have time to try making more cookies. He has to start their annual Christmas countdown TV show. Families around the world are waiting. Come on, the show's about to start, Abigail calls. William rushes towards the television. Merry Christmas, Mrs. Claus says cheerfully. We're live from the North Pole. We're here to talk to you all about Christmas. The toys, the reindeer, the sleigh ride route, cheers Mrs. Claus. There's a long pause. Mrs. Claus looks at Santa. He does not look happy. Santa, are you okay? Mrs. Claus asks. Mrs. Claus, I'm not feeling jolly at all. I lost my Kringle family cookbook with the Kringle cookie recipe. How can I bring Christmas presents to all the boys and girls if I can't give presents to my own family? What? The cookbook is missing? Mrs. Claus is shocked. Yes, Christmas might as well be canceled. Santa looks like he might cry. The screen in Abigail and William's home goes blank. Oh no! Is Christmas canceled? William starts to cry. Of course not, William, says their mom. Don't worry. 
but Santa looked so sad, William sniffled. William, don't you see, Abigail says, we have the cookbook. Abigail and William look at each other. We can save Christmas. It is a real cookbook, whispers Abigail's mom. But Christmas time is only two days away. There isn't enough time to get the recipe to Santa so he can bake all the cookies before the big day. Abigail had an idea. If we can't get the recipe to Santa for him to bake cookies, we're going to have to bake the cookies ourselves, she says. Let's gather the ingredients. We need flour, sugar, elfin chocolate. Elfin chocolate? Abigail's dad interrupts. What in the world is that? Oh, no, says William. I guess we can't save Christmas after all. I have an idea, says their mom with a twinkle in her eye. America's Test Kitchen is down the street. I bet they will know what to do. Abigail, William, and their mom and dad march into the test kitchen holding the Kringle family cookbook. We have the cookbook, Abigail yells. We have Santa's cookbook. The test cooks gasp. They had been watching Santa's broadcast, too. We have a plan to save Christmas, but there are some magical ingredients in this recipe that we don't have, William says. We can help, shout the test cooks. Everyone jumps into action, and the group works late into the night to recreate Santa's favorite crinkle cookie. They sing songs and play games to keep themselves awake, all while baking and tasting lots of cookies. As soon as they get the recipe right, they realize they're going to need some help baking enough cookies for all of Santa's family and friends at the North Pole. Luckily, they are in a television studio. Someone turns on the light. Someone presses record. And suddenly, they are live on air. Hello, says Abigail. This is an emergency broadcast for all the kids who heard about Santa's cookbook. We have some exciting news. We have the missing recipe. Watch, and we'll show you. Everyone, let's bake these cookies for Santa, pleads William. Bake extra so he can take them home for his Christmas family. Bake them for your family, too. As Abigail and William talk to the camera, the test cooks begin baking for the whole world to see. The news spreads fast. Soon, children all over the world are heading into the kitchen with their families to bake. Together, they bake and eat batch after batch after batch of cookies. They leave some out for Santa to bring home to his family. Everyone goes to sleep Christmas Eve exhausted but happy. On Christmas Eve, Santa gets ready to make his big journey. The elves feeling forgotten don't help. The reindeer feeling forgotten don't help. Santa loads up the sleigh with all the toys, one at a time, alone. At the very first house Santa visits, he spies a plate of cookies left out for him. Even though he feels very sad, he decides maybe a bite of a cookie could cheer him up. Hmm, what's this? This tastes just like the cookies my father used to make. I, it can't be. Santa smiles for the first time in days. Then he notices a note. To Santa, some cookies for you to eat now and some to take home and share. House after house, he finds plates of deep, dark, chocolatey cookies with snow-white dusting. Santa's amazed. He's overjoyed. He leaves tiny thank-you notes for everyone. At his very last stop, in his very last house, Santa sees a book next to the plate of cookies. Oh, my! They found it! When Santa returns to the North Pole, he can't wait to tell everyone the good news. When the sleigh lands, he sees everyone is waiting for him. He hugs Mrs. Claus. He hugs the elves. He hugs the reindeer. I'm sorry I didn't bake cookies for you before Christmas, he says, but I have a surprise. All the children in the world bake cookies for me to share with you. Oh, Santa, Christmas isn't just about the presents, says Mrs. Claus. It's about being with people you love. We saw the kids broadcast, and we made cookies for you, too. Next year, let's make cookies together, says Santa. From then on, every year, Santa, Mrs. Claus, the reindeer, and the elves 
take a day off work to make cookies together. Santa always saves a few for Abigail and William. And every year, kids all over the world get together with their families to make special cookies. They share their cookies with their neighbors and friends and always save some for Santa. Merry Christmas.